Coming up, things take a turn for the worse for T.I. and Tiny as Lisa Bloom gets involved. Kodak Black's first good deed since his presidential pardon. And Diddy is now suing Sean John. See why. Today's Black Fact is about Michael Jackson's Thriller. 39 years later, and Thriller remains the best-selling album of all time, with sales of 66 million copies worldwide, certified 33 times platinum by the RIAA in 2017. It won a record-breaking eight Grammy Awards at the 1984 Grammys, including Album of the Year, while Beat It won Record of the Year. The album is often credited by critics and publications as one of the greatest albums of all time. Kodak Black, or his clone, whatever you want to believe, only he knows the truth, reached out to the families of special agents Daniel Affin and Laura Schwarzenberger, the FBI agents killed in the line of duty this week in Florida. Kodak's attorney, Brandon Cohen, sent a letter on behalf of the recently pardoned Florida rapper to the FBI Miami division offering to pay college tuition for the children of the two agents that were fatally shot and killed. Lisa Bloom, celebrity lawyer known for bringing down big stars for big paydays, went to her Instagram to announce that she will be taking over as legal counsel for an unnamed victim. She captioned the following, investigating T.I. on behalf of our new client, we stand with her. If you have information about T.I., please contact me via my law firm website, thebloomfirm.com, or DM me, free and confidential. Help us get to the truth. Lisa Bloom continued to say, I have said this for a long time. The music industry is long overdue for reckoning on how women, especially black women, are demeaned and abused. Enough is enough. Tabitha Brown and Jason Weaver landed reoccurring roles on the Lena Waithe created drama series, The Shy. Season four of the popular coming of age story is currently in production in Chicago and will return to the network later this year. Why and Lucci is back on them streets, y'all. He was released from jail on a $500,000 bond. Photos and video emerged Monday of the Atlanta rapper getting sprung from jail, where he'd been in custody since turning himself in last month. Once released, he was set free with a long list of rules. For starters, he surrendered his passport and has to wear an ankle monitor while living in an undisclosed location between the hours of 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. Outside of those hours, the only thing he can do is meet up with legal counsel, take care of medical needs, and see his kids. Somehow, Offset has managed to lose an entire car. At least that's what an LA-based luxury rental service is claiming. Platinum Transportation Group is suing the Migos rapper for $100,000 in missed revenue over the disappearance of a 2020 Bentley Bottega he rented in the spring of 2020. According to lawsuit documents, PTG claims their contract with Offset began in May. When the rental period ended in July, Platinum claims Offset told them he didn't have the car in his possession, nor did he know who had the car last, claiming the car had vanished without any explanation, according to PTG. Sean Diddy Combs is now in the midst of his second legal battle with the Sean John clothing line for $25 million. Accusing the brand and its owner, GBG USA, of attributing a bogus quote to him in order to promote a new clothing line. According to Complex, in his complaint, which was filed last Thursday in Manhattan, Combs says that Sean John created a new collaborative line with women's clothing retailer Misguided that is illegally using Diddy's image, likeness, and persona without his permission. In a statement made by Diddy's lawyer, Jonathan D. Davis, he said, Diddy does not challenge Sean John slash GBG's right to use the Sean John trademark but rather Sean John slash GBG's decision to leverage a fabricated quote they created and then falsely attributed to Mr. Combs and to use Mr. Combs name and other monikers to create the false and misleading impression that Mr. Combs is the decision maker behind the designs and creation of the GBG collection. Last month, Combs filed a different lawsuit against GBG over the use of the trademark phrase, vote or die. In that suit, Diddy alleged that Sean John and GBG had illegally used and trademarked the phrase to sell new merchandise during the 2020 presidential election. Happy Tuesday, good people. We'll see you tomorrow on The Beat.